Did, did you see uh, um, China banned like a certain amount of hours for kids to play on games? Did you see that? I did see that. And these, I did see that. What was it, like three hours a week or something? Gosh darn China people made TikTok, dude. If there's not such a if there's not such a blatant act of war on focus from country to country, these people made TikTok said, hey, okay, we made an algorithm that literally sucks up focus of, of people that are sucked into it. And then a year later they're like, hey guys, hey, big big pop of China here. You guys gotta get more focused over here in China. We got those schmucks over there, those the, those diverse buffoons over there in America got twindling their fingers for four hours a day, getting sucked into people's funny videos. Yeah, These people. I don't. I think there was already a like a cap on how much you could play, but now they just made it stricter, more strict. But you know, I, you would think that China, of all places, would just be like, "Yo, let's uh." Let's embrace all this, uh, all these kids playing video games and just make the next fucking superpower of kids that are superpower of generation that are just like Game. engulfed in the digital world, know automatically know how to like do shit in, I don't know. They're just like better than Americans at like, um, digital, stuff. digital avatars. Well, I think, I think, I don't know. It's a suicide rate like there. It's probably, yeah, I don't know. You know what else China has, dude? They have like five year and like hundred year plans. China has a really interesting infrastructure as a country. Like they're socialists, but like, especially in the past governments, not so much this dude. They're like, they're just like, hey, we'll let you guys like enterprise, but like when we don't like something, we're going to mess with it. But they like get money. This current one is kind of lit more author authoritarian than the last ones. But there's like a whole like through uh like Carter, when Carter was president, they were cool and like super like trying to, you guys just make your own money here. But it kind of it's kind of different. It's super interesting though, man. Superpower in thirty super years. They have five year plans, hundred year plans, and they're like, and China like as a place has like ruled the world a lot more than like America has like in total. So like the China population thinks of long term way more than america does so like 100 years to china is like nothing and their governments that plan it how do you these cats over on, here how do you plan a 500 year plan like like what's the world you're gonna be like then i don't know if they have 500 year plans but at least they got some uh, a decades you know you could pretty like you could plan out 100 years you're definitely gonna be wrong some areas but you kind of got to just work that on the fly. And that's when you, you go down to your five-year plans. Like if it was 1921, what would you think the world would be like now? Definitely couldn't see that. Well, I don't know. Maybe you try hard enough and you get the smartest people and like the smartest tech. I don't really know what tech, what tech was in the 20s. I think cars just came out. Yeah. So maybe you're like, oh, okay. So then you're probably like, all right, most of this, What's a century? Century's a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Most of this century is probably going to be dominated by cars. Maybe, maybe we go hard on cars, baby. Hard on cars. But then roads have been around a while. Yeah, Their and then planes were starting up, but they were super not commercial. See, was was all that even popular in China, or is that kind of just America based railroads and stuff? No, nah, that was um, well. The Chinese built the railroads for America, but most of those inventions were American. Interesting. Yeah, pretty crazy. The uh, so the book I'm reading about Rockefeller, you, yeah. they're saying that the reason like so many, so many um, there were so many inventions back then in America is because there's literally no regulation, like, mm. and it was pretty easy to get a loan. So people were just trying shit, and fucking, it was you know kind of what made the bust later, dude. Yeah. Fourteenth five year plan for China. Making China even greater. Time to switch teams. No, but it's very interesting to watch, dude. Like the more I read, the more I realize that America sucks kind of a little bit. <laughs> no, nah, I think America's great, but America's like a kinda design firm. Is it what? America's a design firm, and China and 
all the other countries are like manufacturing firms. So like you think of the biggest, like most companies, most companies, Nike, Apple, fucking Bose, like most companies you think of, they just design the product here and then they just shoot all the information to China and they make it there for like a 20th of the cost. I think that was like a part of China's plan a couple of decades ago, whenever, whoever was there in power, because they were super isolationist and they're like, you know, we could make so much money off cats if they're just importing stuff through here because they were getting kind of wrecked by just getting their own stuff in country. And then one president or whatever they call him over there uh, was like, yeah, let's, let's open these babies up, dude. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get money from these other cats. It's and, crazy. and they just work. I, I don't want to say they work. Yeah, I would say they work harder. They work harder. They're also under like authoritarian <laughs> government. So it's, it all yeah. comes. There is a book that someone was reading that I might watch called culture hacks, culture hacks. Um, but like the way these like the way countries are set up government wise and and like s- culture wise it, it's in the people you know so if you're under like an authoritarian government that yells at you for not doing things you're probably gonna like i don't know if it's genetic but you're gonna pass down like that stuff yeah, so listening to the psychologist he was talking about why chinese are killing americans at math and it's not necessarily because they're better at math it's because they can focus longer on one thing and americans have add tiktok freaking banning gaming it's a so like that's a very concerted effort to make sure their population is able to like concentrate and and view things out but don't isn't doesn't gaming require concentration too you know i was watching someone and they were like gaming is like the ultimate like in the zone thing you're only thinking about like that present moment and you're super like dialed in yeah um, and like you're actually kind of like solving problems whereas tiktok you're just existing yeah totally. but especially because china has weird games their games are like candy crush type stuff like i'm sure there's like a sect of like teens that are doing like world of warcraft and uh that one crazy one but for like young kids that's probably ruining really focus dude like I, it's crazy how. Like I was, I was, I was thinking about with the pod too. Like the pod, do it directly at five, and then an hour goes by and it's super fast, or kind of like kind of slow, but you're like super in it. And then, like not having the pod regimen, it was like, if I went on my phone for a second, it was super easy to for an hour to go by and do nothing. Yeah. Fuck. Do you, are you ever just on Instagram or TikTok? And like you're in it, you look like up in your brain. You're just like, I need to break away. From I this. tried to. I need to like go on a walk or something. Like I remember, I had that thought. Like every time I'm on TikTok for more than five minutes, I'm just like, dude, like fucking close the app. Yeah. Throw your phone at somewhere else. It's a, it's a good a book or something. It's a good practice in mindfulness. Yeah, dude. Fucking, I swear to God, Instagram. Something about their app icon. I've said this before. As soon as you close it and then you like scroll to another page and scroll back, it just makes me want to click it again. Yeah. It's like, what the they've, fuck? they've got the like thumb power. That's crazy. Yeah. That could, oh, man. I, and someone was talking about how the like swiping of a thumb might be some kind of like primal addiction. Um, maybe some monkey stuff behind it. I don't know. Could but be. yeah, when you're, when you're swiping through and you're just mindlessly going through your iPhone pages and even that, but like you're going to like Instagram or. There's some there's some rates where I'm on like dating apps for like a week or two and then like I like like that's my thumb right away. And then but you're just going through a cycle of stuff that you're just mindlessly clicking through. Mindlessly is a is a good way to say it, dude. Mindlessly. Uh, we, used to, we used to go on the internet to escape reality. Now we go to reality to escape the internet. Uh, that's that's a good one pretty it's pretty daunting why do i feel like my body's being refreshed when i'm literally just walking outside to get the mail that is something that's 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 quite something it's pretty bad yeah i'm sure it's completely opposite for some people older generations that get on a (laughs) get on a on technology and they're just drained 
I love talking to older generations and younger generations about their perspective. Younger generations, hard to pull information out of. Older generations will sit down and talk to you for days about their life. Yeah, I mean, it might just be personality, but and maybe in age too. I'm sure if I was older, I'd kind of be more talkative about stuff, probably. Younger I got kids, no time, dude. No time. Younger kids, like only I noticed that. This is how I get the like attention of a older kid, younger kid, because most of them are like, "Who the fuck are you, you old guy?" Like, I just like do something cool or like do something on the computer like really fast that takes like no effort. Like the other day. I was fucking letting this kid into the bathroom at my job. He was probably like 16 or 17. And he was like too cool for school, like whatever. And I wasn't even trying to talk to him. But I did something like, hey, Siri, do this, blah, 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 blah. Like really fast, like super slick. Shut the fuck up, Siri. And he was like, whoa, what the fuck? That's so cool, dude. How'd you do that? Can I do that on my phone? 